Protesters in Canada pulled down statues of British royals, including Queen Elizabeth, amid anger over systematic abuse of indigenous children in residential schools. Davina Gupta reporting from Delhi. Canada's national holiday has been marked by protests following the recent discovery of hundreds of unmarked graves at former schools for Indigenous children. Thousands of people joined a Cancel Canada Day rally. Catherine Corelli has this report. Traditionally, a day of celebration. But this year, Canada has found itself reckoning with its colonial past. This was the scene in Winnipeg demonstrators pulling down a statue of Queen Victoria. Across Canada, thousands of people took to the streets, protesting a dark chapter of their country's history, the residential school system. You murdered thousands of children, hundreds of thousands of children. We don't know yet, but we are here to tell you today that that was wrong. You all know that it was wrong. We are here today to stand with everybody to oppose the ongoing genocide of the Canadian government and state against Indigenous peoples. Between the 1870s and 1990s, more than 150,000 Indigenous children were taken from their families. They were made to attend church-run boarding schools. There, they were forced to abandon their native languages and convert to Christianity. Thousands died of disease and malnourishment. Some took their own lives. In 2015, Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission called it cultural genocide. Calls to scale back this year's Canada Day celebrations intensified in recent weeks, following the discovery of almost 1,000 unmarked graves at former residential schools. That number has now gone up. The latest discovery on the eve of Canada Day was here. 182 unmarked graves at St. Eugene's Mission School in British Columbia. In his Canada Day message, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said Canada needed to face up to its history. The truth is, we've got a long way to go to make things right with Indigenous peoples. But if we all pledge ourselves to doing the work, we can achieve reconciliation. To this day, we don't have a full picture of how many children died in residential schools and the circumstances of their deaths. Indigenous leaders have said that as investigations continue, they expect more graves will be found. Catherine Corelli, BBC News. With more about the mournful nature of this year's Canada Day, here's the Canadian Indigenous journalist Willow Fiddler, who's been covering the residential school story for Canada's biggest national newspaper, The Globe and Mail. It's, it's been quite different, um, you know, listening to the report just now. I mean, it's not just protests that we're seeing. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of acts of um, solidarity, a lot of acts of support for just the devastating news that we've been um, facing in the last month here. Um, moments of reflection, I think, uh, for many people. Um, you know, I, I know that there's been statues that have come been coming down, but there's been, um, you know, other gatherings too with survivors coming together, supporters coming together. And this is, uh, you know, Indigenous communities and non-Indigenous communities just really kind of taking a moment to, to um, really understand the gravity. And, and while many people, many survivors have known these numbers of, of children and burials that are, are now being uncovered for a long time, I think the reality of um, the, the confirmation of that um, is, is hitting home. The Truth and Reconciliation report first identified over 3,000, uh, um, at least 3,000 burials um, at residential schools across Canada. Um, Canada has recognized uh, 139 residential schools that were run by the federal government and Anglican and Catholic churches. Um, it, it can be said with, you know, beyond a, sh a shadow of a doubt that each of those schools will have um, burial sites both marked possibly um, and unmarked. Um, and it's those unmarked sites that are, are coming to light now. So the numbers, you know, are growing. I mean, you kind of do the math with that. I mean, just in the last uh, in the last few weeks here, uh, there's been three, you know, the discoveries at three former residential schools have, have resulted in over 1,100 burials, mostly uh, believed to be children. So, you know, if you've got over 
130 more schools to investigate and examine that that's going to go quite uh, up um, substantially and and uh, right now I'm hearing you know numbers between 10 and 30,000 but I imagine that will go up even more.